Hi all. Okay, what we have here is Hako welder, and this is the handle of the heating element that was inserted inside, and it stopped working. And I just wonder if this is a problem in the connector. And after I did try to let's say fix it, I ruined it. Anyway, it goes like this. You just put it here and there are contact and what you need to know basically is that the heating element of uh, Hako and probably also other vendor I guess vendors okay cannot close it right now probably I'm not doing it correctly but this is less important now what is important is that I found out that some heating element are fake and how can you know if you have the yellow marking on the plastic so probably this is a fake and they basically look exactly the same you see this is a real one here and this is the fake one and they very very identical very hard to see but what i find out is that the real one the contact have uh, let's say a more glory white and this is not white like this one but all the other things are exactly the same now this is from hako fx 9551 maybe other brand are also okay and this is a uh, 75 watts so how the 75 watts goes and this is something interesting so i think that this welder is uh, bringing out to the heating element 24 volts and this is what i'm going to check now basically because as you probably remember the power is equal to i uh, multiply by i and this is multiply by r yeah so we have a uh, uh, I a uh, square and uh, multiply by R and what I need to find is just the heating element resistance and this is how I can find it so the resistance here is 8 ohms 8 exactly 8 ohms <laughs> interesting and on the fake one this is a fake yes i think that this is a fake one uh, let's see by the colors yeah this is the fake we have 7.8 so it's a little different and let's take another real one so probably exactly eight ohms let's see how accurate it is yeah <laughs> so the fake the resistance is a little lower now let's do the calculation so if it is 24 volts so let's calculate it now so we have 24 divided by 8 to find the current the current is exactly 3 amps so 3 multiplied by 3 of course is 9 and then we multiply it by 8 so we have 72 watts and not 75 like they claim uh, when you buy it or uh, it is written on the heating element anyway so but it's very close to 75 watt so why i'm talking a lot of about heating element because we have the fake and another thing that i just wonder how does it know to sense uh, the temperature so i just wonder if this contact have other thing than just a coil that is heating so i will take the real one not the fake but you can see it's very old so i don't mind to break it you know you need from time to time to replace these things and what do we see here 
just breaking it first time I'm doing it I never done it before and yeah we can see the two wires hopefully you can see it so the two wires are probably the coil of the eight ohms that we seen and there is no other wire so how they know the temperature this is what I'm trying to find here and this is my curiosity about how they find the temperature so you can see you just can just break it and basically hitting element is just of course two wires and it is a coil that getting current and it's heating this is all you have nothing beside this and just wonder again about the sensor the temperature sensor that i really don't know how it goes and how it works because i don't have another wire here for the temperature this is my curiosity kills the cat yeah ha you see so it goes out so basically the heating element is just here how do i know because this is just a wire transfer and the current the power two so i just need to break it on this side and let's ah try to do it yeah aha do i see something interesting not exactly so we have again the wires 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 and the heating element is down there near the edge and i need to cut it i need another tool for it let's search for another tool because i just still wonder sorry basically i don't know do you see it here are the wires it's inside it's a little difficult to see but you have your wire and you have some ceramic something and basically this is all so probably they are just sensing aha i have an idea how, how the knowing the temperature okay 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 so my only way of thinking about it is that if you have a coil and it is heating so its resistance is getting higher and when the resistance is getting higher so they have probably some algorithm to know about that okay okay so the only thing i can see it working because the current is changing when it is heating because the resistance is going up probably and when the resistance is going up by the resistance they know the temperature this is what i have in my mind if you know how it works or have any knowledge about it so write in the comment below this video i have no other way of thinking so probably the only way they are sensing is just sensing the current in the coil and by the current they determine what the temperature is no other way here two contacts just for the heating element and that's all so hope you enjoy thank you and bye